It's Wednesday morning, July the 21st, 2021. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. We're going to be reading this morning from Proverbs chapter 13. Verse 8 and 9 actually are the two verses that we'll read for this morning's devotion. And Proverbs chapter 13 Um, verse 8 says, The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. And then in verse 9, The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. And these two verses talk about the value of a person's life and the direction that that person is headed. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. And then especially in verse 9, chapter 13, verse 9, the light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. And this speaks of the direction of a person's life relative to truth. And a person who walks in the light versus one who walks in darkness. In John chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus Christ said that he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. In fact, earlier in that verse, he said, I am the light of the world. And he's the one who brings real tr- real light and truth and understanding to people's lives so that they're able to have the right direction for life. Let me read 13.9 for you again. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. And this speaks of blessing versus cursing. It speaks of those who are willing to accept truth and walk in the light versus those who continue on in their dark way. You know, the Bible gives us this contrast between man choosing his own sinful direction versus yielding himself to the Lord and choosing God's righteous direction. And the light that is one's life will flourish if it's yielded to truth versus the light that is one's life will be put out if a person refuses that truth. And Jesus spoke of light as well in Matthew chapter 7 when he talked about, um, you know, the, the light of the body is the eye. And if the eye is dark, how great is that darkness? But if the light, if the eye is filled with light, well, then light will enlighten that person's path. I think of those verses in Psalm 119 where the Bible says in verse 104 especially, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. How do we get light in our life? By listening to God's truth. And God will shed light on a lot of things that are unknown and unknowable to us otherwise. And we will be able to flourish and be blessed as we follow and yield to the light. Seek God's light. Allow God's truth to penetrate and permeate your life. Spend time in God's word and you will be enlightened in your understanding. You know, the way of the world is darkness. And although it may seem very attractive on the surface, there's no real contentment, peace, joy, or satisfaction in such things. Seek the Lord and allow his light to illuminate your life and your heart and give you guidance and direction through life. Seek him today. God bless you.